Welcome back. So how can you tell if your friend might be angry, your mom is sad, or maybe your boss is happy? Well, there's really only one way, and that is to look at their face. Eric Olson is out in 21 Country. It's the first thing we see when we look at a person and the first thing we remember about them. The human face can express 10,000 emotions, scientists say, which makes it the toughest body part for even the finest artist to paint. It's really difficult to capture the life that emanates out of us and the emotion. No two human faces are exactly alike. All eyes are on you in the Fort Wayne Art Museum's big gallery where the viewer and the viewed can size each other up. Beyond Face Value is the title of this exhibition of portraits from the museum's permanent collection, and it shows how portraits have changed over the last 500 years. This is a copy of a 17th century portrait by Flemish artist Paul Rubens. His rakish profile and confident eyes, this is a man who knows who he is. This portrait by American photographer Jerry Joshko is called Effie, and you'd be hard-pressed not to recognize the stubborn wisdom in this face. They all have this kind of neutral um, expression a lot of times, but just the little hints, the quirk of the mouth or the different clothing says a lot about the individual and who they are. And not all portraits are of faces. This Campbell's soup can says a lot about the artist who made it, the quirky pop icon Andy Warhol. This lovely image by Brandon Beckstrom is called the Brazilian guitar player. With sad eyes and sensitive mouth, you wish you could hear him play. This portrait by de Couvelin is of a happy man, very much pleased with his life. This woman, not so much. These are 21 prints of wigs by American artist Lorna Simpson, and even without the faces, you know a great deal about the people who wear them. There are portraits of great people here, side by side with not so great people. Of the very old, next to those of the very young. The straight laced and the quirky. Spending time in this room is like being at a party. Some people you want to talk to, others you want to avoid. But you leave this room with the overwhelming feeling that you were among friends. Eric Olson reporting for 21 Country.